all right welcome back so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to machine this slot now this is a very easy operation it's done in the milling aspect in the milling dvd uh very easy and you should know how to do this already but we're going to separate this operation as well as the rotary uh copies of the slot because remember after we machine the slot we need to machine it five more times around the cylinder uh, to finish off our part. So the first one is just going to be creating the toolpath of uh, the slot. And then the next video will be showing you guys how to copy that operation all around your stock five more times. Okay. So to get that done, let's go over here to toolpath and contour. Now under contour, it's very easy. Just make sure a chain is selected and select your chain. Uh, whether you want machining this way or that way, it doesn't really matter. Uh, now, one very important aspect is that um, after I press OK here, I'll show you guys after I create my operation. But this line, this toolpath is actually already a quarter of an inch in my part. The way that I created that line is that I've created it where it's already inside my cylinder, already dug in a quarter of an inch. So that means I just want the machine to that line, okay, to that geometry, and that's the depth that I want, okay? So come over here under contour, and let's go to tools now. So under tools, we're going to select the 5 8 flat end mill, okay? And we're going to call this contour slot, okay? And let's go to the holder, keep it the same. Let's go to cut parameters. Now, this is very important to change the compensation type to off. Now, what that does is that that changes the compensation direction to automatically be the middle of the tool. And that's what you want. Otherwise, the tool will come in and will machine to the right or to the left of the tool path. And you would not have a slot that looks even both ways. It would machine, obviously, a little bit more on one side than the other because then it would be uneven. So you want to make sure the compensation type is off. And you can leave everything else the same. Depth cut, you don't have to worry about the depth cut because I want to tell it to machine only one pass to one exact depth. So you can turn that off. Under lead in and lead out, we can leave everything the same as the previous operation, but you want to uncheck the entry and exit points. So you can either uncheck this and copy it, or you can just uncheck both of these things uh, and the entry and the exit because we didn't select a point for an entry or the exit. Now, if you notice, everything that I'm creating it, it saves everything from your previous operation. And I will show you why uh, in a second, why that does that. Now, uh, under multi-passes, we want to turn that off. We only want one pass, so there's no need for multi-passes. Under linking parameters, you want to make sure it's two inches. And you want to make sure that the retract height is one inch. Feet plane is a half an inch. And you want to change the top of the stock and the depth to incremental. But you want to change the top of the stock to zero and the depth to zero as well. And the reason for that is because I just want to machine to that geometry, which is already at zero, at depth zero, but that would already dig into my part. So it's safe to, to, to come over here and machine straight to that depth by selecting zero. Remember, incremental means incremental to the first uh, from here to here and from here to here, okay? Uh, absolute is the exact position of your tool so if you select if you want to select to that depth okay remember your radius is two inches so you would want to tell it i want to machine to 1.75 for example if you want to use absolute okay so after you have that done come over here and to rotary axis control and make sure to change it to no rotation you're not rotating anything you're only machining one slot select apply and okay and if i zoom in real quick you'll notice that it creates your machining operation. Okay, it's only one little pass. Digs in, machines, comes out. Now, one very important aspect is, remember I told you why does it copy from one to the next? And that's because under properties, whenever we're setting up our tool settings, we've selected these. Overwrite default with module values, clearance height, retract, and feeds. It copies those options, allows it to copy uh, every option from every toolpath that we create. So if we keep creating contour toolpath, it will keep copying your previous selected toolpath to the next one, thinking that, hey, you probably want to use the same values, okay? Now, one thing to change over here under increment is 10. I like to keep it at 110, okay? So select OK, and let's go ahead and verify that. Now, real quick, I told you that this line, I will show you where this line is. So if I select that line and I place it into my 
right side view and just rotate it a little bit you're going to notice that the line is not quite on top of my thing but it's dug in and i uh, placed it on purpose quarter of an inch into my part this way i can just machine to that line all right so let's go ahead and select verify selected operation and i'm going to zoom out and it's only that one operation that i'm looking at so go ahead and select play you'll see your tool dig in machine and dig out okay and you can see how the machining is even both left and right side now if by any chance i forgot and i went to parameters and i actually forgot to change my compensation to uh, off look what happens i'm going to select apply and okay and go back to your verify selected operation and regenerate the uh, the dirty operations that i've just changed now if i press press play over here and look at it you're going to notice that it is towards one side see how it's machined more on the left than on the right okay and that's the big issue so if you uh, select uh, you know you, you could select the wireframe over here so you can see it a little bit better but if i select the right side of the part the view all right zoom in zoom out see how your tool this is the center of your part and your tool basically machined the right side of your uh part the right side um uh, from the center and it the tool wasn't at the center it was towards the right side and that's why it's very important to go back and change that compensation to off and keep the tool in the middle keep the toolpath in the middle of your tool select apply and okay and always remember to go back and regenerate that dirty operation all right so in the next video we'll learn how to copy that operation all around your part